Today, the group fighting to stop the center kicked off a week of events to try and garner more support for their movement. Fox 5's Joy Dukes is live where several of those events took place. Joy, what do they have planned? Yeah, Eric, so much to do in so little time. What I can tell you is uh, members of the Stop Cop City movement are, are trying to rally as much support as possible, and they're doing so with events like the one they held here at Brownswood Park earlier today. Now, earlier this week, they uh, picked up the first of thousands of petition forms they hope will put the fate of the $90 million planned training facility in the hands of voters. Today, organizers said they were looking to connect with more people and talk about the issues surrounding the building of this facility facility, all in hopes of getting closer to the 70,000 signatures that they would need in order to get it on the ballot. It's going to take community participation and a community effort. And luckily, the movement has been built in the community. So the effort is there, and there are people going out day to day to get those signatures for the referendum. And there are people going out day to day just to talk about Cop City and, and shed light on the issue. Now, organizers we spoke with today said that they couldn't say exactly how many signatures they've collected so far, but they did say they are celebrating another small victory in the movement. As DeKalb County's DA announced Friday, she would no longer pursue the case against dozens of protesters facing domestic terrorism charges. As State Attorney General uh, Chris Carr responded to this saying, quote, while the district attorney has decided to no longer assist in this case, our office is fully committed to moving forward with the prosecution of those who have engaged in or supported violent acts surrounding the public safety training center. Now I'll have more on why opponents say this is evidence that the state is losing support coming up tonight on Fox 5 News at 10 and 11. We're live in Atlanta. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. Yeah, Joy, so many twists and turns in this. We'll see you tonight at 10. Thanks so much.